Look at this dirt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna do Cheerios, okay? okay. You guys say, here you go. Okay, you see. Okay, you guys eat. Huh? What's going on? Is it? <laughs> Is it frozen Cheerios? <laughs> April Fools! I ah, got you, boys. All right, everyone, that was fun. Decided to bump up April Fool's Day to give you a little inspiration in these tough times to maybe do something fun out there. So frozen cereal, it worked, it worked. All right, heading out for the run. Yes, I'm going to the track where I'm gonna do the run to raise money for those in need, those that need help. Uh, so we're heading out here. Uh, I, got, I gotta go scope out the track and actually I gotta make sure it's open. So. Also, it is a dirt track. I'm trying to open my gate here. <laughs> uh, I got It's a dirt track, so the reason I want that is just to be a little easier on the legs, depending on how long I go. All right, and thank you all for the encouragement and support in yesterday's vlog. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Helping others. All right. If you haven't seen that vlog, go check it out. Upper right hand corner. Okay. Here we go. Is it open? Is this track open? I need a track for those laps. Okay. Here we go. Well, it's open. Okay, this is good news and look at this dirt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Nice and soft. Okay, it looks open. Obviously it is open. Perfect, perfect. Oh my goodness, it's open, the dirt is soft, and we're gonna help people keep a roof over their heads. I'll get you the dates and the details very soon. And marathon training week 12 has kicked off and the hair gets a little crazier every single day. So I'm putting the hat on in the studio for today's time. Okay, so just to recap real quick before we dive into the taper and talking about the time trial from uh, Sunday is that yesterday's vlog, which is why I went to the track today just to make sure it's open uh, for raising money to help people who have lost their job because of the coronavirus, because of COVID-19 um, and are struggling to pay their rent and there's a real serious situation like they might lose where they're going to live in the next one to three months because they have no job and it's so the emails are coming in so if you are in that situation you lost your job and you might lose where you're going to live email me there's my email we want to help and on that note i'm blown away down in the comments from yesterday's vlog also on twitter you all want to help it's uh it's overwhelming frankly because I was, uh, you know, I was confident we would raise $1,500 to help one person, but it seems like we might raise a lot, lot more uh, than $1,500. So this is good. This is exciting. But it also means, um, and thank you for her, I forget who brought it up. A couple people brought it up as far as uh, making sure everything is in place um, on the financial side and yes, the taxes side, okay? Someone, oh my God, someone offered to pay the taxes. Uh, for the money that comes in. He said, okay, I'll cover the, the I'll, he said, I'll cover $1,500. It's just, it's just amazing uh, uh, in the tax as well. 
I believe there's a way that we don't have to pay taxes. For example, um, and we'll talk to our, our accountant, uh, True Love and I, but if you are an accountant and you have some information or some insight into gifting money, from what I understand and the research that I've done in the past and just uh, earlier today is that an individual can give another individual $15,000 and it cannot be taxed, okay, as a gift, all right, a gift. Individual to individual. Remember, I'm not a, I'm not a business. I'm not a nonprofit. I'm just a person, right? Trying to help someone. So um, same for you. If you support um, when I'm running around the track and we're not, just so you know, we're not going to do it through Super Chat. We're going to do it, uh, most likely it's going to be PayPal, Venmo. I know many of you have used Venmo, Google, anyway. But we got to, I just got to get the details all ironed. As you can probably tell, I'm the pie in the sky big idea kind of guy and you guys are keeping me accountable to the details so thank you out there we're gonna make it happen but um just gotta iron out all of those details all right sound good okay today's run 13 miles 805 a mile how do my legs feel after the time trial i must say compared to the 23 miler in the alpha flies from two weeks ago i'm not nearly as sore compared to and that was at 540 a mile compared to 508 a mile for 13 miles like my legs so adaptation right we're talking we always talking about adaptation to the training and absorbing the training so it, it appears my legs um adapted well off of that 23 mile long run for the 13 mile time trial on sunday and i'm not i'm a little i would say i'm like i was very sore after the 23 mile run after the 13 miler i'm probably 50% less sore. Uh, my legs are tired, they're sore, but they're not, uh, I, I can still go out and do the miles, do the volume that I want to do this week, which on that note, kicks off the taper. Okay, so this is exciting. So actually, let's pull it out. Here we go. So yes, April 19th, it's happening. In fact, a shout out to, real quick, Wolf Creek Race Management in Pennsylvania. Wolf Creek Race Management, they emailed me, this gentleman, Andrew, emailed me, shout out to Andrew, and he said, listen, Seth, we want to help put on your virtual races, okay? So he, like, I've never done a personally a virtual race, so Andrew and Wolf Creek Race Management in, Penn, in PA is helping me set up all the details, which I'm hoping is going to be available for all of you to sign up on, what is today? Today's Tuesday. I would say no later than like, you know, let's say next Monday by the latest as far as, well, yeah. Uh, anyway, just bear with me as I work out the details with, and there's a lot going on right now with between the raising the money for the gifting for people that need help and then the virtual races. This is exciting times for Demore Global Running. So here we are. We are at the right here in the taper. So 90 miles. Okay. So how I like to taper for the Hamburg Marathon, in quotes, which I just heard has been rescheduled for September 13th. Hmm, hmm. Maybe I could drop down to the half marathon. Would they let that happen? I don't know. All right, so here we go. So here's the taper, three weeks out from race day, April 19th. And so I like to do 90, so I will do 90, um, 65 to 75 will be this week, next week. And then race week, what I like to do is 30, 20 to 30 miles, depending on how my legs feel, before race day. So usually a marathon is on Sunday. So the six days leading up to race day, I like to do that 20 to, so about anywhere from four to six miles a day, roughly. Just nice and easy, doing strides, getting the legs nice and fresh. So we're in taper mode, although obviously with running around the track to uh, gift money and raise money for those that need it is going to take precedence because it's way more important than the uh, way more important than a, a virtual time trial marathon. Even though I love like what we're going to be doing with that, but obviously keeping people in their homes is way more important. Okay, so there you go. Marathon training week 12 is the taper, and thanks for helping me and making this happen. Like, oh gosh, it's just a lot going on. There's a lot going on.
So you all rock. That is it for today. Gonna call it. Go in, help mama with help mama with homeschooling, because that is what that is our new reality right now, right? So all right, everyone, we'll toss it back to yesterday's vlog where I explain in more detail the uh, the lapping and the 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 raising the money and helping others. And again, make sure you email me if you are in a really tough situation right now, okay? Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Mm, you guys are the best. See you tomorrow.